Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Mandy. Thank you so, so much for being here. If you are new, welcome. I hope that you'll stick around, hit that red subscribe button and become part of our family. So today we're doing a kind of like a review video. It's, I should have done a try on with this, but so many people have already done it. I just felt like, you know, maybe, I don't know, if you want to see a try on, let me know. I definitely can do it. I have tried both palettes and I did struggle a little bit, but what I'm talking about is the Collider's Collection. Now, this is the PR package. I bought this. I am not on their PR. I would love to be on their PR, but I am not. I bought this whole package um, so I could review it. I love Collider's. I wish I would have got this video up sooner for you guys, but I really wanted to try it and see what it was like before I put the video up. And I've tried everything in here and it's, I mean, first off, when you open it up, there goes the paper, but all your stuff is placed in there. Pretty cute. I really like it. Um, dropping everything. Let me get that paper. So it says you are... A you are a wonderfully talented, beautiful, creative soul. Let your heart guide you and always choose kindness and from Shayna. And then it says on the back, makeup on the bright side, R write your own brief letter and send it to otherbrightsidekaleidos.com. We'll print it out and send it with future orders. So if you are interested in doing that, there you go. Um, but okay. And then we have the bow. So I want to show you that. Get that out of the way. It's super cute. Um, I don't know that I'll ever use it, but it is adorable. It has colliders written on the back and it has a little stretchy. Okay, so the products. The lips, the lip product and the contour palettes, amazing. The two eyeshadow palettes, they're great. I love colliders. I'm not saying anything bad about it. It's just I had a little... Not really a hard time, but in a way, a little bit of a hard time trying to figure out what I was going to do. Both my looks came out really good because I did try both of these. Um, I don't know. I just need to play with them a little bit longer. I have all of Kaleidos' um, Futurism palettes and I have their Escape palette. I wish I had their old school palette. Their formula is not like anybody else's formula. It's amazing. And if you haven't tried it, I strongly suggest that if you get a chance to pick up one of these palettes, any of their Futurism or the Escape Pod, all of them are amazing. These ones, just the color story, I think is what it is, that kind of threw me off a little bit. I love purples, as you can see. I have purples on today. I use the new Glam Light palette for that. Um, so, I mean, it's not that I just, I definitely am going to play with these more. The, I, I can't say it enough that it, the, the quality is there. I think it was just more me having problems figuring out what I'm, the, the order I was going to put it in my eyes. And I think my problem is as I use all the shades and I try to use too much. These are like subtle palettes. And I think that if you just do like a little look, something that's not using every single shade in the palette, it would be fantastic. But I'm pretty sure there's a way you can make it look good using all the shades too. So like I said, it's not the quality, it's me. So let's go ahead and I will show you swatches of these palettes and show you the contour and the lip. Um, but if you do want to see me trying these palettes, let me know down below. I will definitely make a review for you. I just didn't do it because there's so many out there. But if you'd like to see me try it, please let me know and I'll make that happen. All right. So the first one is Lunar Lavender and the, the packaging on these is adorable. Like I'm not getting rid of this because of how it opens up. I don't want to rip it. So I'm grabbing my tweezers. It pops open like that. And then it's different from their other ones. When you open it up, it's like a little gift. And then makeup, what's it say? Makeup on the bright side in the middle there. <laughs> so pretty. And then like Kaleidos does everything right. Everything right. It is so pretty. You open it up like that, little trifold. 
you have your shade names right there and here are your shades so pretty i mean it's it's a stunning palette you can see i've played with it so let's do some swatches they're so soft and just super buttery their shimmers are out of this world ridiculously beautiful i mean they're they're stunning so here are the first four shades i mean seriously you can't beat kaleidos formula or you can, i mean you can come close to it but i think glam light and kaleidos their shimmers are on another level like just a complete other level that a company has not quite got the hang of yet to do this one is super soft and then the last one they're all so soft i mean it's like butter super super soft look at that and these are all one swipe swatches look at how pretty that palette is now i think like i said my problem was i used every single shade now, if, say, you just, like, kind of go into all over the eyelid with that and then pop one of these shimmers on, I think it'd be great. Or, you know, the same thing, maybe just one purple and this in the corner and then one of these. Not all of them. So, I'm definitely going to try it again, for sure. Let me put this back on here. Um, yeah, I don't know which way it goes. Okay. That's the only problem. You don't know which way these go. So you don't know if you're putting them back in the right spot. But anyway, put this back in its little home because it's adorable. And I think I'm going to hang the suitcase up for display because it's just, I mean, it's, it's super cute. And plus I just redid my whole background, which I will show you a video on that, but that's a different day. So this is, and I have heard so many people pronounce this a different ways. I think it's uh, Sasha Me, Sasha Me City. I'm probably wrong, but again, packaging 10 out of 10. And again, it opens up. There it says your Futurism 7 and makeup on the bright side in there. And then here is the packaging on this one. So pretty. And then when you open it up, you are greeted with some beautiful, beautiful shades right there. Here's your colors. So pretty. Amazing. And we'll do some swatches on this here. This, uh, these shimmers and I mean, all the shimmers are amazing, but these shimmers are, they're special. They're very special. It's such a wearable palette. Very, very pretty. Um, we're just going to keep it moving and keep going. And again, one swipe swatches. It's so pretty. Look at that one. That one. Look at the shimmer. I told you the shimmers are another level. Just another level. Um, so yeah, we did both shimmers, right? I got lost. All right. So these two are left and these are both mattes. Again, same thing with this palette. If I didn't use every single shade, I think I would have came up with a better look. However, this palette, I think I did a fantastic, pretty good look compared to this palette. So doubling up shades on this one isn't so bad, maybe because it's a neutral palette um, compared to the purple one. But yes, here are both palettes right there. The shimmers are on another level, as I said so pretty and again if you guys want to see a video please let me know all right let me put this back so that i don't lose any pieces and then we will move on to the lip the lip is really pretty i absolutely love this packaging i have one hanging up you know you can't say it it's too far up but i and i lost the other one behind my dresser so i'll never see that one again for a while but when you open it up, you are greeted with a lucid lip. It's so cute, like super cute. There is, their packaging is amazing. So there is what that looks like. I love it, so pretty. And then just a regular doe foot. And it is a very 
like peachy kind of gloss. Let me put a little bit more there so you can see it. And it has a pretty decent smell. So there is that. And it's not really sticky. It's thick, but it's not sticky. So there's the lip product. And then we have our three contouring palettes right here. So we have, and I'll swatch the medium one for you because that's the one that I've used. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with the other ones yet. Um, this one is the cool and light. And then when you open it up, it's again, like a little package. Um, and then it has like directions on how to use it. Super cute. And here is what the outside looks like. There's the back. And then when you open it, it has a mirror and then it tells you what to do. And then there you go. There are the colors and fill shade and chisel is what that says and it, the quality of the packaging is just beautiful like if you've not had their blushes these the, it's it's weighted it's nice they killed it they killed it all right and this one is the warm and deep one I will show you this I'm probably going to end up keeping them and using them as like eyeshadows but I'm not sure yet here is the warm and deep one. Again, the directions. There is what the outside of that looks like. And there's the back. And then here is the colors. Very pretty colors, um, but definitely for darker shades and for a darker skin tone. And I love that they did that. Like. A lot of companies do not do that. And for Kaleidos being a kind of smaller company and doing, showing that you can do these different palettes, no excuses for any other companies to not do that. Like seriously, no excuse. Here is the warm and medium one, the one that I've been using and I love it. I love their blushes. I love their highlighters. Um, I could probably do a whole pretty much a whole face of Kaleidos with the exception of like mascara and brows and stuff. So if you want to see that, let me know. Um, I could do like the eyeshadow palettes and the blood, you know, the whole face deal. Here is when you open it again, there are directions on all of them. There is that palette. And then here's the back. It's so cute. And when you open it again, same thing, full mirror. And here are the shades so pretty so soft um this light shade is i mean it's it feels like butter i mean it's like their eyeshadows it's so pretty so soft and um I, i'm definitely going to continue to use these there are those three swatches and we will go right here is the light one there's the middle shade and then there is the bottom shade. So there is the light or the medium contour palette right there. So I wanted to, like I said, I wanted to pop on here, show you guys the collection and um, just my thoughts on it basically. And I was so happy to actually be able to buy the PR package. I think this, yeah, this is my very first PR package I've purchased for any brand, any brand. The very first time I've ever purchased a PR package. I would love to get them in PR so I could um, review them always, but it, it was kind of expensive to get it. But I love Kaleidos and I just, the, the suitcase, it was just so adorable, so stinking cute. And you can pull these out. You can use these for color switching. So if you don't want to keep this foam, you can cut it up and it is a great color switch for your um, makeup brushes. But I mean, so cute, you guys. Definitely had to get that one. Um, let me know if you guys picked up any pieces from this collection um, and what you guys think of it. I'd be curious to see if anybody else had like a little bit of an issue, not issue with the quality, like I said, but issue getting it to look right. Um, definitely let me know. Thank you guys so much for being here. I appreciate each and every one of you. 
thank you for watching and let me know like i said if you want to see that review or not it's up to you guys just let me know down in the comments don't forget to like subscribe leave me a comment have a fantastic day you guys and i will see you in the next one bye